Good morning, good morning guys. Another day in Pompeii and that means another day trip. Another day trip. Yep. Today we are going to Herculaneum and we're thinking we're also going to try to visit Mount Vesuvius. We yeah. don't really know what the tour offerings are like but we'll figure that out once we're there. We've actually bundled up. I'm wearing my new jacket because it is freezing cold yeah. out. But and yeah. We, and we've got a short train ride to catch. It is a short train ride so it should so be fun. Let's make it happen. Before we forget, how much were those tickets? Only two euros per person, yeah. so a lot cheaper than yesterday when we took the train down to Sorrento. And it's a shorter ride. It is a much shorter ride, yeah. for sure. And our stop is going to be Portici Ercolano. So yeah, the train should be coming soon. Uh, and we're going in the direction of Naples. Yes. In case you're wondering. Napoli. Napoli. The journey from Pompeii to Herculaneum is a scenic one, with Mount Vesuvius to one side and the Bay of Naples to the other. It only took us 20 minutes to get there by train, so if you're looking for a day trip, it doesn't get much easier than this one. Just maybe don't get off in the outskirts of town like we did, but more on that later. Okay guys, so we have arrived in Herculaneum. Now, a little bit of walking because we arrived at a station called Portici Erculano which isn't exactly centrally located but the station for that line was like right next to our apartment so we just got on so now we have to walk from that station over to Erculano Scavi which is in the center of the city and that's maybe like a 15 or 20 minute walk so yeah, panting a little but we're almost there and the reason we're walking to that station is because we've read that the majority of the tours to Mount Vesuvius depart either from the station or right outside so we're gonna go investigate the tour situation for Vesuvius because we'd like to do that first since we don't know how frequent the departures are gonna be in winter. So that is the plan, a volcano coming up hopefully. Vesuvius Express is a shuttle service that runs to the top of the volcano, so if you're expecting a guided tour filled with lots of interesting facts, this isn't it. That being said, we were perfectly happy to tour the site on our own, and we couldn't beat the price at 20 euros per person. The only problem we encountered was that the roads were completely iced over the further we went up the mountain, and at one point the bus just had to give up and let all the passengers off to go the rest of the way on foot. How was that, Audrey? <laughs> Pure ice! Higher road is ice. I don't think we're gonna reach the top. <laughs> I don't think you guys have ever seen two Canadians struggle so much on ice. Seriously though, this is tricky. We do not have the footwear for this. <laughs> we look like we're cross country skiing. <laughs> so we've decided to try walking on the grass because it's just way too icy. Look at that snow. Things got a little easier once we swapped icy paved roads for a dirt trail, though we also had snow to contend with, but we eventually reached the top. I would say one of the coolest things about hiking up to Mount Vesuvius was being able to see that it's a volcano within a volcano, and while there was no bubbling lava visible to the eye, we could still see steam rising from several vents. Well, we're at a pizza place. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's time for an update because that was very anticlimactic. We, we kind of stopped filming halfway. Yeah. Um, so let's start with the price. I don't think we even mentioned that on the way up. No. So our tickets, we went with a company called Suvi's Express, which was right outside the train station, the one we were walking to. Yeah. It was 20 euros per person, and that was 10 euros for the ride up and down, and then another 10 euros admission to the park. Right. Um, I thought that was a good value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was a yeah. decent price. Because I remember when we were thinking of doing the tour from Pompeii to Vesuvius, they wanted 20 euros just to drive us there, and then right. we were going to have to pay an extra 10 yeah. to so enter we, the park. We, we, so this we, was a lot We better. saved 10 per person. Yeah. Also, 
this was a bit unusual because yeah. there was so much snow and ice. The bus couldn't yeah. drive us up nearly as far as it, it uh, normally would. Yeah, so technically you're supposed to get an hour and a half to yeah. like walk the trail and then enjoy the views, take your photos or whatever. But because the bus couldn't make it all the way up, we actually had to like walk on, on the main road and we were yeah. like, you know, sliding and everyone was struggling. <laughs> I know. So it just took way longer. And then once we reached the summit, we took a few photos and then we look at our watch and we realized like yeah, the bus to, is leaving soon. We had to, to, get we had back to, down. We had to rush back down. Yeah, so yeah. again, we were like rushing on the way down. We couldn't film a lot of that. But you know, so many people relate that, ooh, our pizza. Are there pizzas? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that, that looks was so wonderful. Nice. Oh my goodness. My mood has improved so much. We just ordered five minutes ago. I know. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, so many people were late that in the end we left like a half hour late. Um, yeah. So there was no need to rush. I know, we could have had more time up to get like more views. So that's the part I regret the most is that yeah. we ended up feeling rushed to get back when we could have shot more. But now we have food. Now we got we food. food. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> All right, time to try the pizza, guys. So hungry, so hungry. I know, the cold really makes you work up an appetite. Oh, that is good. Just ordering the basic one, the margarita. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong, especially in and around Naples. We're so close to Naples, so this is the real deal. Mozzarella, fresh tomato sauce. A little bit of basil yeah, and drizzled olive oil. What else do you need? Our next stop after lunch were the ruins of Herculaneum, an ancient Roman town that was destroyed by Mount Vesuvius. While Pompeii was covered in ash, Herculaneum was hit by the pyroclastic flow that followed the explosion of 79 AD, which also led to its preservation. So we are now inside Herculaneum, so let's talk about the price. These are our tickets here, and it was 11 euros per person. Yeah. Um, and they also gave us this little map. It is. It was consi Hello. considerably cheaper than Pompeii, which is... Yeah, a few euros cheaper. A few euros. Oh, sorry, yeah, just a few euros cheaper. The other one cheaper. was 13 euros. This oh, yeah, 11, that's right. So it's not so bad. But yeah, they give you a map so you can kind of figure it out on your own. Or if you want, you can pay for an official guide. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit extra, but we kind of like to wander. And our first Im our first impression so far is that this is just like, this is such a smaller place than, than it's Pompeii. It's much smaller, much yes. Much smaller. Another fun fact about Herculaneum, even though this was a much smaller city than Pompeii, it was actually wealthier. So I think we're gonna notice that when we start visiting the frescoes inside the homes. We're already seeing some impressive work just behind us. Check it out. Another thing that I'm noticing is that here in Herculaneum, we seem to have more access to the ruins. Like I've noticed that you can enter a lot more of the homes and in some of them you have like these ancient mosaics that you're actually allowed to walk over. Like there, there are no ropes stopping you like in Pompeii. So yeah, it seems a bit more accessible that way. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, but yeah. What are your thoughts so far? been rather quiet filming in the background. I have been quiet. I'm pretty tired still from the, the volcano hike. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Was, that um, was a lot. But yeah, it's, it's been it's been really interesting to explore on foot. Not nearly as many tourists, which I'm enjoying. And, yeah. Um, yeah, we've just been kind of like going off on our own here. And it's been great. We found the tunnel and it said this way to the ancient shoreline. So of course, I was like, yeah, let's go see what the ancient shoreline looked like. Sam's not too happy. He's seen enough ruins for the day. But here we are, going into the deep, deep underground at Herculaneum. Whoa. It leads to a different part of the city we hadn't explored. 
What at first glance appears to be a moat is Herculaneum's ancient shoreline. Here we were met with the aftermath of the explosion. A row of old boat houses, each of them filled with the skeleton remains of those who did not escape during the first day of the eruption. Well, we are on the train. Well, well, what a day. What like, a day. Whoa, we were like walking up a snow-capped volcano. Yeah. And ancient city ruins all on the same day. And delicious pizza. And pizza for lunch. That's a pretty darn good day. And definitely you can combine these two activities for one like complete full day outing. Yeah. Um, highly recommend that. And now we're just taking the regional train back to Pompeii. Yeah. Yeah. And we're probably gonna eat pizza again because <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing to admit. <laughs> but we've only got a few more days in Italy. So. And we're gonna eat more pizza tomorrow too. Yeah. We're going to Naples. So stay tuned for our Naples videos and lots more pizza. See you guys next time.